Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampedabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today for my, wait, what? Tip video, I thought we would touch on our framelits and thinlets a little bit. And um, you may already know this and maybe you don't, but either way, I think you'll pick up some good tips. So our framelits come in these plastic little envelope sleeve things, which are really nice to keep them in. And they come stuck on this super, super duper sticky tape. So when you get your framelits in the mail and you're pulling them off of the sticky tape, you wanna be kinda of careful with them because sometimes the sticky tape can be like super human and be really, really, really sticky. This has been um, played with a lot, so it's not as sticky. But sometimes it's pretty hard to pull these off. So you wanna make sure that you don't bend them. I haven't had that happen yet, but I can see it happening. So take care when you're pulling these off of the cardboard sleeves. So one of the things that I don't like about leaving my framelits and thinlets in these cardboard sleeves is eventually your tape stops sticking. And when that happens, this is what you end up with, is a pile of these framelits that are just all over the place. You can't even see what you have anymore, and it's just a great big mess, right? So that doesn't enthuse me too much. So I thought that I would show you what I've started doing with my framelits. I have started putting them on magnetic sheets. So this is a really nice, neat way to keep them. You can see them inside your sleeves and they stay in place so you know exactly what you have, right? This is the magnetic side. This is the not so magnetic side. I need to get some more of these so that I can put another piece in here so they're back to back and they will hold all of my stitched framelits. But this is what I've started doing. So let me show you where this is coming from. These are magnetic vent covers, and you can get them at your um, home improvement stores. I think these, this one actually came from Walmart, and you put these over your vents. I'm not really sure why I would wanna do that in my house, but apparently people do, and I don't really care why they do it. It's none of my business but I know that I can use this for my stamping, so I don't really care what people are doing with them. I know what I'm gonna do with them. So I believe this comes with, I wanted to say it comes with two sheets, but now I don't even, oh, yep, it says twin pack right there, hello. Glad that didn't bite me. So it comes with two vent covers and they're this big. And so what I do is I take, my cardboard and I put it on my magnetic sheet and then I cut it. And you can cut it any way you want. I'm just going to use my scissors. Don't freak out about me using these good scissors. This particular pair is very, very used and I use it for everything because I'm lazy and I don't wanna go find other scissors. It's, I know it's naughty, but I do it. We all have our things, right? So now I've got this cut out, and if I had, oh look, it's perfectly in half, so that's convenient. So now I can take all of these and put them on my magnetic sheets. Well, let's see, how are we gonna do this? Well, this is gonna be puzzle time for Kelly right now, so you can watch me and laugh and see how bad I am at puzzles. Oh, I guess I'm not as bad as I thought I was. <laughs> Okay, and right here, here's another one, and that one doesn't really fit in there, but I bet you it'll fit in here. And then we'll do this one right here. So here's our scallops. And, whoops. Now, I also have to tell you that I was talking to somebody the other day, and like I said, I think I got these at Walmart. I would like this magnetic sheet to be just a little bit stronger, and they said that they got theirs at, like, I don't know, Home Depot or Menards or something like that. And they said that theirs were stronger than mine. So there's a little tip for you, too. I think when I go buy some more of these, which I'm going to do because I really like this, I will 
pick them out at a different store. So there we go. And now I can take this and slide it back into my sleeve. And now I will be able to see exactly what I have, right? Okay, so that's a super great idea. Um, if you don't want to put two in the same sleeve, I also have this that I did with my layering circles where I just kind of stacked them on top of each other a little bit. And these will stay together pretty nice too while I slip them in the sleeve. So again, I can just see what I have. Okay, and then I wanted to show you one more thing. I'm going to take these off of here. Another thing that I like to do when I am um, got my whole desk all full of stuff and I've got a big mess going on and like I said remember I said I use these scissors for everything because I'm lazy and I don't want to grab another pair well sometimes I don't put my framelits back in the package either I know that's shocking <laughs> but it's true so when I get lazy I just start throwing them all over the place and pretty soon I have framelits everywhere and let me tell you if they have any of this sticky adhesive that sticks to them, sometimes that happens. They will, well, you can see it's a little sticky right there. Um, it's a really good way to lose them. So let's say I have a sticky one sitting here and I grab my stamp set and I look at that and suddenly this is sticking to the back of that and I set it back over there and suddenly, suddenly, I have no more thinlet. It's gone. I can't find it. So another great tip is to have, like, I would probably, when I get some more of these, I'm going to cut a piece about this big. And just to have these and stick your framelits on there as you're using them so that they don't have the ability to stick to something else. They're going to be sticking to this. So I don't lose them on my desk. And I have to tell you a super funny story. <laughs> so um, I had one of these that had some of the tape residue stuck to it. So it was pretty sticky. And I was down on the floor looking for something because most of the time my room is a disaster. You know, creative minds are pretty messy people. Um, so I set this on my chair and I forgot about it. And then I sat down in my chair. Are you starting to giggle a little bit? Yes. Yeah, so here was my maddening afternoon. I was in the process of getting ready for a class and I needed this thinlet whatever one I was using for my class, I ran all over my house looking for this thinlet that had suddenly just disappeared. I dug through my garbage. I retraced my steps like five or six times, running upstairs, going into the bathroom. Was I in there? Did I set it down in the kitchen? You know, did it get stuck to me someplace and I dropped it in the hallway? I didn't know. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I was just so angry at myself for not being more careful with it. Well, um, it took about a half an hour. I finally gave up and thought I need to move on to something else and then I'll come back to that, right? Because when you get in that place, you just need to stop and refocus on something different. And later, I found it. It was stuck to my butt because I sat on it. So don't let thinlets and framelits get stuck to your butt. <laughs> Put them on a magnetic sheet when you're working so you can just leave that lay someplace while you're doing your thing and you don't need to worry about losing these. And also, it's a great way to keep your stuff organized. So go get yourself some vent covers and um, fill up your little pouches so you can see which framelits you have. Thanks for uh, joining me for my tip today. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp .com. We have a brand new catalog coming out June 1st, and I would be happy to send one of those to you if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you do, get in touch with that person and get yourself a new catalog. Make sure you check out the projects on my blog. I share two videos a week and um, lots of cards in between at www.astampabove.com. Have yourself an amazing day. Okay.